Setting up a contact page on your WordPress website can actually be pretty easy. You'll see above that we have the basic contact form listed here and then further below we see that we have all of the information that somebody that would be searching for us would need to know and it helps also with getting found in local SEO areas, meaning that if we did a search on Google, we want our business to turn up in the results for the words that would be right for us. So we're using just a very simple plugin to accomplish this. Sure, you could go and type everything in, but what I like about this particular plugin is that it makes it easy to link out to all the social places. And in addition, you'll see here, we've got a QR code that will help people switch from, they'll scan the QR code on your site onto their phone, and then it will open up the driving directions for them on their phone. There are only a few instances where I like QR codes on websites, so I bring that to your attention. This is one of the good times for it. You'll see it lists our hours of operation, ways that people can choose to pay, and then below we'll see here is a Google map. So the plugin that we're using to accomplish this, first of all, is the local search SEO contact page by expertbusinesssearch.com. So you'll see that you can fill in all of your contact information, hours of operation, you can put in your lat and longitudinal coordinates if you need help to look those up it will ask you to fill your information in here you can specify what types of payment that you would like to make if you would like that QR code to open on somebody's phone to something other than driving directions I caution you with that but you can drill down more specifically so it could be a QR code that is a telephone dial or it could be a QR code that opens up their email program something to that effect You'll see you can fill your social media buttons in and then update your options. And below we get a list of short codes. Now, a short code is basically you embed this little piece of code that comes with this plugin onto your contact page, as you see listed here. So I can save that information and then the plugin, whenever I hit update, will be available and it will look basically like this. Now, if you would like to add in this version of a contact form, all you need to do there is click on, if you've enabled Jetpack, that's another plugin, Jetpack, and then this tiny little icon listed right in there will open up a form builder. To the right of that form builder, you can specify your email address that you would like this to go to if it is something different than what you use for the website. So I have not customized mine, don't need to switch it at all, but if your address that is the email address you use to log into your own website is different than where you want that email to go, that's where you'd specify it, you save it, and you add that to your post. What I have done, however, is, uh, let me hit cancel there, okay, yeah, that's fine. I am using a Google form, and that's a video for another time, but if you were to visit the actual contact page on my site, you would see that I've got my local SEO information listed, which will help populate to the search engines when I am available, and then my social icons, my QR codes, some driving directions, and here is a form that I've got coming in from Google. So I will show you how to do that one next week.